Hi everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I am so excited that you're here with me today to get glowing skin for $13. It is an amazing product that I'm excited to share with you. It has been around and in fact, Emily Noel used it as a foundation primer in her Emily Awards and I discovered it because I purchased everything from the drugstore in the Emily Awards and this little product was one of them. And if you want to bring on the glow, there is nothing like this. And it's so funny because she said it was a great foundation primer. You know, she liked it, but she's not older like maybe some of you are. I know I am. When you're in your 60s, it is hard to come by that glow factor that comes so easily to women even up in their 30s and 40s. And this is the little wonder worker. And this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. And I'm going to show it to you on my skin today. I'm using it as a primer and it is going to give my skin just a youthful, beautiful glow. And I am so excited to share that with you. But first, let me show you the outfit that I have on today. And here it is. It is a great champion sweatshirt. I really, really do like this. And at the end of the video, I have some champion cards that I'm going to be sharing for you in the thought for the day. And I thought it kind of went with this. So stick around to the end of the video if you want to learn to be a champion too. And it's a lot easier than you might think if you just take it one little bite at a time. I don't know if bite is the right word. Maybe one little step at a time. And if you're not yet a member of the 50 plus beauty family, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. And when you click that bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. Okay, let's get into this. And here is, well, there's my foundation, but here are the little Wonder Worker products. And it actually comes in four different colors, I believe. This is the 902 Light, and this is the 903 Medium. And I actually think if you want to have your skin a little bit brighter, go with a slightly lighter color because I tried both of these on and you would think I'd be a medium because that is more my skin tone, but I went with the light and I'll show you how it goes. You just take a little bit on your finger there and there it is. It's just a nice little pearly kind of a, kind of a lotion. It's really a lot like a moisturizer. It can be used as a moisturizing primer, I guess. And I'm just going to smooth that in in my hands and look at the glow that that brings onto your skin. Absolutely beautiful. You know, I think I should move in a little bit. I am way far away from you guys. Okay, here we go. And I'll go ahead and do the forehead here. And right now it looks a little bit wet, but in a few moments it dries down and just leaves the most beautiful glowy skin. It just gives you that healthy skin look that we had maybe when we were younger. I'm not sure if I should put it on my neck. You know, I won't because I've got some definite wrinkles down there. I think the best thing I can do is add a good little powder there, which I'll do in a few minutes. And I do have my eye makeup done already because I didn't want to waste time. But there is how that looks. And right now you're not seeing the true beauty of it because it, you really do need to treat it like a primer. It just gives you a lot of glow as your first base and then you go in with your foundation. And again, that product is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion and it is $12.99 at most retail outlets. So it's under $13 to get younger looking skin. I really feel like, like I do when I wear that. And this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. It happens to be an Emily Award for 2022, but I have worn this for years and I absolutely love it. And since we're going for the glowy, healthy skin look, I went back to my Healthy Skin Foundation. I used to wear this pretty much exclusively. I think it is beautiful. I think it rivals true high-end foundations. If you want just a slight radiance to your skin, this is absolutely perfect. Now let me find a brush here. Okay, here is the brush. And I'm going to go ahead and use an Emily Award winner again. This is the Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray. One, two, three, I guess three is enough. And then I'll just buff that out on my skin. And even though the foundation is medium coverage, I would say, you're going to still be able to see that beautiful glow underneath the foundation. And it does. I'll, I'll bring this down a little bit, the foundation a little bit down on my neck. There we go. Yeah, that looks nice. And then I'll get the forehead here. Here we go. Do this side. Make sure I buff that all in. 
Okay, there we are, and it needs just a few moments to dry. I'll be right back. Okay, there is that L'Oreal Lumi Glotion under the Healthy Skin Foundation, and that's the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. But look how pretty my skin looks. It looks almost flawless in terms of the pores. That is one thing that is great about that foundation. But also, it just has a subtle glow all over, which I really like. Now, it's a little bit extreme, so I will be bringing that down in certain places with powder, but that is the look of healthy glowing skin. And I'm going to go in with my little Pixie by Petra peach corrector for under my eyes. We'll start that process. I'll just put that on quickly for you. Here we go. A little bit in the dark area here, which I do really have dark, dark spots around my eyes. And here, this one has not been done yet. You can see that. The purpose of this video is not really anything but the skin, but of course it does help to have a nice makeup around it. Now I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in Light Beige. It has a big doe foot. That's been kind of a kind of a trend over the last two or three years. It started out with concealers that had very small doe foots, and now they've gotten huge. I, I don't know, it's a deer foot? I don't know. I, I guess that would be a deer foot, a, a grown-up doe, I think. And I'll just go in and smooth that out. You know, I think I'll get my Beauty Blender to go under my eyes. I've been liking that lately. Okay, a little more Wet n Wild setting spray. Get the lid on there. There we go, very pretty. I like a little bit of a lighter under eye. Not like strident white, but just a little bit, a little bit lighter. Ooh, that seemed to have a little too much moisture on it. Okay, the skin is looking even better. It is setting up just beautifully, very glowy, but I've noticed that my black spots are still rather intense, and I always forget to show you this, but this is the L'Oreal True Match Peach Corrector Stick, and I just put a little on the inside of each black area. I should have showed you that before I started, but see, that's black there. Then you put that there, and the peach just kind of nulls out the black, or at least it really subdues it, and I'm using just a little buffing concealer brush to kind of blend that in a little bit. Okay, now we're ready to set this with a little bit of powder, and I'm going to use another Emily Award winner. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder, and this is a beautiful powder, and it is like six bucks. It is crazy cheap, and to me, it is very similar to the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, which is basically a blurring powder, but there's a little bit of that in there. Let me get a small brush here Where's my small brush? We're just going to go in selected places because we really do want to keep that glow. I don't think I want a bunch of glow right around here. So I'll just get that and then I'll set the under eyes. A little bit on the chin. Actually, since it is translucent, it is letting that glow show through. Ooh, that is really, that is a great powder. And what a pretty glow. I think I will go ahead and put it a few more places here just to set everything. That powder being translucent really does keep the shine going of the L'Oreal Lumi True Match. I really love that. I think it's just beautiful. Now, since we're going for a glowy look, I thought we should use a blush that has some glow built in. And one of the best ones ever is the Milani Luminoso. And let me find it here. Okay, here is that Milani Luminoso, and look at this. Ooh, it is just beautiful. It's just peach, kind of a subtle peach, with just a beautiful amount of glow. And so I think that'll be a really good thing to add so we don't lose any of the glow that we have built up here. And I'll go ahead and dip in my Angie Hot and Flashy brush. This is her blush brush, of course. And how I use this, it's triangular shape like that. And you just take it, the blush, at the very top of your cheekbone, at the very top. Do the other side, tap off the brush, but you're just going on the top, and then you're going to turn the brush on the side like this, and then you're going to buff it in. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that is beautiful. Very, very beautiful. The glow is definitely there with that one. But it is not a glittery glow. It doesn't look like you have glitter on your skin. I really don't like that. <laughs> We're past the age for that, but I think it is just beautiful in terms of giving your skin that radiance that it had when you were a little bit younger. 
at least that I had. That is a classic blush and it's absolutely beautiful if you want a little bit of a satin radiance to your skin, which I think really does help as we get a little older. Now I'm going to be going in with some contour underneath my cheekbones and I have not used this yet, but it was an Angie of Hot and Flashy Winter. This is the Ulta Beauty 3-in-1 Cheek Palette and it does have a little brown color here. So I'll go in under my, under my cheekbones and add that brown color. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. And I'll just take a little bit of the brown there. We'll see how this works. I hope it doesn't ruin everything. Oh, that's a beautiful color. Ooh, very pretty. I'll do the other side. I guess I should go to the front so you can see what it's doing. Now I'll go down the sides of my nose. Very pretty, very pretty. Now I'll use the same color right here because I've been getting a little bit jowly, but I'm, I'm doing a lot of things to work on that. So we'll see. I, I definitely don't want a facelift. Now I'll put a little bit also up on my forehead. Ooh, that looks awful. <laughs> Now I'm going to take the side of this brush and just buff everything out. That looks a little dark, doesn't it? Yep, try to buff it out. Okay, there we have the eyes completed, of course, and also the base makeup. And that glow is really still continuing. And I used this makeup yesterday at work and a couple of the girls said, Beth, your skin looks good. What have you been doing? And that is exactly what I want from something like this. I don't want it to look like I have wah, wah, like stoplights on my face, you know, with glitter and all of that kind of thing. I just want my skin to look very healthy and young and dewy. And for $13, this is an amazing thing. And I think you would really love it. Now for lip liner, I'm going to try another Emily Award winner. And this is the Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner in the color Nude. And I always start from the outside because your lips may be a little bit skimpy right in here and it helps fill them out a little bit. And just go at the outside of the lip line. I wouldn't overline if you can help it. And right now I'm studying lip liner combinations with lipstick. And if you'd like to see a video about that, just let me know. And I think that is an absolutely beautiful lip liner. If you need a nude one that will go with just about anything, this is probably the best one you could buy in terms of all of the colors. And I'm going to go in with this City Lips San Diego. I've just discovered this combination and I think it's lovely. Normally I would do a lip liner and then I would do a lipstick with this gloss over it. And sometimes I do, but I just think this is a very pretty look. Very nice. Now if you want to increase the level of glow even further, here is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow Nude Palette. It's kind of being reflected there in the light, but look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I love this color. I think it's beautiful. I love this color. Very, very lovely. I think what I'll do is I'll use these two as a highlighter here on the tops of my cheeks and I'll see if I can't get a little more glow out of this very glowy look. So here we go. I think that does look glowier. Very, very pretty. Okay, if you're looking for instantly glowing, beautiful, healthy looking skin, I can't recommend anything better, at least at this point, than the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion in your particular shade. Also, if you want a very natural looking foundation, this Neutrogena Healthy Skin is wonderful too. And if you have ways you use to bring on the glow, anything, whether that's skincare that helps you look more glowing or just makeup that helps on an instant basis to bring on the glow, then I hope you'll share the information in the comment section. Okay, I always like to leave you with a thought for the day and I've been reading from these Mind of a Champion cards and I love these. These are affirmations coupled with actions. Okay, let me go ahead and choose hopefully a good one for us to think about for today. Let me see. Ooh, this says, I respect myself. And then on the back side, it says, clean your room. That's interesting. Respect yourself, clean your room. 
A clear mind starts with a clean environment. Take some time today to tidy up your workspace. Take some time today to tidy up your workspace. The clean room leads to a clear mind, and I think that is absolutely true, and it shows how we respect ourselves. And I have to admit, my house right now is super clean. Not only is the outside clean, but for the past maybe month, once a day, I've been cleaning out a drawer. I mentioned it in a previous thought for the day that when you get a little down, a little depressed, clean a drawer out and it does feel really good. But I think this is absolutely, totally true. And I am really guilty of something right now. And that is that my makeup room looks absolutely terrible. And I'm going to be accountable to you today to clean up my area here. So these are some pictures of how the area looks right now. Here is the makeup area where I do my filming. Here is the little half bath where I get my makeup on. And as you can see, it looks like kind of a mess. And I've really been wanting to clean up this area. So I'm going to show a picture as I'm talking to you right now of the room, hopefully how it looks in just probably less than half an hour. It doesn't take much time to clean up the room. Here is my room after it looks about 30 minutes from now because right after this video is shot, I'm going to be cleaning up the room and it feels much better. I can just imagine how much better it does look. So friends, as you're going through your day today, I hope you'll be accountable too. If you look around you at your home or workplace and you see something that's messy and needs to be tidied up, then make a vow to respect yourself and do what it takes to clean up that mess. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.